Hi friends, my name is Jana Eubank and I'm here with my very first video as part of the Hip Kit Club design team and I am thrilled to be here. Today I'm going to be playing with the main kit only from the February 2023 Hip Kits. I'm just flipping through the contents right here to show you all of the beautiful exclusive pattern papers. You get 12 pattern papers in the main kit. There's also a set of cardstock die cuts, a two by two stamp, vellum die cuts, and puffy alpha stickers. It's a fantastic value at $34.95. But if you subscribe to the kits, you get your kit for $30.95 plus shipping. So be sure to check it out. Members also get exclusive discounts. They get a 15% discount on other monthly kits like the essential card stocks, the extra papers, you can get a color kit, you can get an embellishment kit, and even a pocket life kit. So be sure to check it out. It's a fantastic value. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck and I just love that. Everything coordinates and you can't find these products anywhere else. Okay, so I just went through all the papers and selected the papers that I thought would work with my photos today. I have a couple of photos of my family members that we're go I'm going to be working with. Now the first paper that I was drawn to is this geometric pattern. My idea that popped into my mind when I saw this paper is that I wanted to cut out the um, floral pieces within this diamond pattern to create a lace paper. So I'm going to fussy cut all of the floral shapes out. I also use in exacto knife to to really get in there it does take some time but I love the results and I think it looks really cool I cut that a square of that blue paper that bright blue paper and I'm going to place this white lace paper section over the right hand side I'm going to separate the two sections the left side and the right side with a strip of purple paper but first I'm going to get this lace paper adhered to this blue uh, cardstock. Now I thought for a moment that I might pop up this lace paper, but I knew that I eventually wanted to stitch it. And so I'm going to just use liquid glue to get all the little tiny bits in place, even along the edges. And I love how it looks. So on the right side of the page, I'm going to be matting my photos. And so I'm going to pick some papers for that right now. I thought I might do this turquoise and keep it nice and monochromatic with all the blues and mints. But when I tried this yellow paper, I just love the way it popped off the page. So that is what I decided to go with. Now before I mat those photos, I'm going to get the lace paper um, and everything else into place. I'm going to cut that purple floral strip. Uh, at first I do about two inches. I try it on and I don't like that it's taking up a lot of the blue space on the left side because I want to do some embellishing there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that down and then um, cut the yellow paper to uh, fit my photos on the right hand side of the page. So I'll do a little bit of fussy, you know, I'll be fussy with this for a minute just to make sure I get all of my proportions the way that I want it. Now I'm going to, the idea I have is to use these chipboard frames and as accents. I'm going to put one in the upper right corner of the photos and then I want to do a scattering of them across that blue panel on the left side. So I now that I know what papers I want to use, I'm going to Go ahead and mark everything and get it into place and then I will start embellishing with the chipboard uh, frames. As I pull the chipboard frames over, they're kind of sticking to things and so I bring in some baby powder and take off the stickiness of those chipboard frames just so that I can move them around without damaging my photos or the other papers. I'm going to use the pink circle frame in the upper right corner and then I'm going to use the other circle frame on the left that I will mix in some of the rectangle frames. I thought I might use that wreath but I think that one is just so special I'm going to save that for another project and stick to the basic shapes. I like that I, um, I go ahead and pick that uh, black and white frame to go on the top because I like the way that it repeats the black and white geometric or the colors of the black and white geometric paper on the right hand side. Now I'm going to dump out all of the vellum die cuts and I'm just going to take a minute and just thumb through these and find some pieces that I believe will work with the colors that I'm using. So I find that framed uh, quote in the top that says uh, pinch me 
how did I get so lucky? Because I had loved my family and I feel so lucky that they're my family. I also saw this Oh Happy Day vellum phrase in a bright pink and I thought that would be good to do, to do the title in bright pink since my shirt is bright pink. I'm also pulling out all the black and white florals. I thought I might use those balloons because I don't have anything multicolored on this page yet. I'm using mostly tonal patterns and so it might be fun to add a pop of um, you know multicolored. I don't end up using them but I do think they're super cute and I can't wait to use them on another project. Now that I've gone through the vellum die cuts, I'm going to do the same thing with the cardstock die cuts. I'm just going to go through them one by one and find pieces that I think will work. I love this little kitty in the flowers. Uh, I might use that and create a little scene in that larger rectangle. I love the butterflies. I'm just setting out some things here. I find that light blue label that I am going to put at the top of the top photo. I like that it brings the um, blue color from the edge of the layout into the center of the layout. There's that stamp die cut that says family, which is perfect because I have this is about my family. Um, the little phrase that I put on the blue label at the top says, love this tribe of mine. And then I'm just finding more butterflies. I'm separating the hearts. I like this little yellow and blue heart pieces that I've down by the cat because it brings the yellow color over to the left side of the page. So I think I might be using those. And again, I'm just selecting things that I think we'll use and just eliminating the ones that I know won't work. So I thought I might bring this yellow butterfly over to the left side because uh, instead of that yellow circle, but it was a different style than the other two butterflies that I already had there. So I opted to leave that off. There's this third chipboard butterfly that's a smaller one and I, that will end up making it on the page a bit later on. So now that I have my frames picked out, I'm going to go ahead and get them backed with some pattern paper. With this blue circle frame, I'm going to use this really sweet uh, white or purple flex on, they're like little tiny purple snowflake flex or dots on this white background. So I'm going to use that for the title circle because I think that the uh, pink vellum piece will show up best against a white background. So that's why I chose that paper. But in the other three places I use, or the other three frames, I end up using a tonal dot pattern from, or tonal heart pattern from the essentials. I trimmed apart that oh happy day phrase because I thought it might fit better on the circle, which it does, but I ended up taking away the word oh because the butterfly was going to cover it anyway. So here is where I'm gluing the uh, essential heart paper, the tonal heart paper on the back of the other frames. And um, I like that it has that subtle little pattern peeking through the vellum die cuts. And it's just so cute. I love it so much. Now, as I start getting these items in place, I'm going to pop up the butterfly and the hearts um, with foam tape and get those on there. I also pop up the um, two smaller frame or the three smaller frames, the black and white frame, the blue circle frame, and then the pink circle frame. All of those will eventually get popped up with foam tape. I do leave the um, purple rectangle frame on the bottom flat to the page. That's where my journaling is gonna go. At first I thought I might do that little scene with the cat, but I decided I needed a spot for my journaling, even though I don't have a ton of journaling, so that is where that's going to live eventually. I'm going to glue the little phrase to the label at the top of the uh, photo and then add that uh, label there above my head. Again, I like how that blue label brings the blue color into the center of the page along with that blue circle frame. So even though I haven't backed my pink circle frame yet, I'm just going to use it to um, position that blue label and then here I go adding that blue heart pattern from the Essentials cardstock on the back of that pink frame. So I love all the frames that are happening, but I feel like there's a lot of spaces that need some filling in. So I grabbed this frame paper from the uh, pattern papers and I'm going to fussy cut several out. 
I chose a yellow one to go to the left of the blue circle to bring that yellow color over. I have a dark pink one next to the light pink circle and then I have a dark blue one and a light blue one at the bottom of the page that I'm um, that I placed to the right of that purple rectangle frame. I'm just getting them tucked in. I like how they connect everything together, how all the frames are overlapping each other and touching the edges of one another, and that helps everything feel uh, associated with one another. I'll pop up, pop up the other butterfly. And then I'm starting to think about how I want to fill the circles or how I want to accent them. I'm going to place this family stamp in the pink circle at the top of the page with some foam tape. And then here's where the third butterfly gets added to the bottom of the purple rectangle frame. While I find that butterfly, I spot this little floral stem from the chipboard stickers and I place that to the left side of the blue circle frame. This inspires me to pull in other floral die cuts from the cardstock die cut pack. So I'm going to add a few to the right edge of the uh, pink circle frame. And then I'm going to start building in some leaf branches or leaf stems and just fill out all of these uh, little, or accent all of these frames. I fiddle with this for quite a while, so we'll just go ahead and watch that now. I also wanted to bring in the black vellum leaf branches and I really like that pop of contrast and the different texture that those add. So I'm trying to add those around the page. Um, I had a little tiny branch one over on the right side of the page. That will eventually make its way over to the heart to accent the heart. Uh, but now I'm just, you know, finding some branches and arranging them and making little floral arrangements around each of these circle frames. In the vellum die cuts there's also a heart uh, leaf pattern and I end up putting that down by the small butterfly and the yellow heart circle. Next, I'm going to pop up some flower die cuts on that blue circle frame, and that will finish it off. I went to my computer and I printed my journaling on vellum so it would match the other vellum accents on this page. And now I'm going to use the puffy stickers to spell out my title. You'll notice at this point that I took off that Oh Happy Day title. It just wasn't um, a strong enough element for that. And I wanted a bolder title so I went to the puffy stickers and I think that was a really good choice because they're so cute. I love how that coral color picks up the coral from the flowers around the page as well. So this is where I decide, oh yeah, I wanted to I wanted to add that black stitching, which I had thought about it in the beginning, but I, I guess I'd forgot about it for a second. So I'm pulling out the Essentials cardstock again, and I'm just choosing one to mat my entire block. I'm going to go ahead and cut that and distress the edges. Then I will go and stitch around this page and bring it back and adhere it onto the back blue background. There's a space at the bottom of the photos that I felt like it needed some filling in. I have the circle frame in the top right corner as well as that label and I just I just felt like that at the bottom was a little too much space. So I found this tabs uh, die cut as well as another little phrase that says my heart is full and I'm going to place that at the bottom of the bottom photo. I'm going to also grab my mini stapler and just staple that on to give uh, make sure it doesn't look like it's floating around just make sure it feels anchored and because I placed two staples there I'm going to find another place to place staples So I'm going to add that to the top right corner of the page just so those staples are in two different are repeated in two different spots 
And that finishes the page. Again, I will add a couple of black tiny leaves to that heart in the top left corner. And you'll see that here in the still shots. You guys, be sure to check out the February 2023 Kip Kits if you haven't already. They are fantastic. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me.